Hello guys and girls, and welcome back to The Godfather. This is part 5, is it? Part 5 already. And in today's episode, we have to get to Monk. But first I gotta... I need this car. Thank you! As you might remember, in the last episode we witnessed Luca's death. It was at the hands of the Tatalia family. And so we were asked to go and see Monk. And tell him what happens. And he's... Where is Monk? Where is Monk? That's a very good question. Where the hell is Monk? How do I zoom out? Wait. I don't really know where Monk is, really. I think I'm just gonna take over this shop and then go home and see if my phone is ringing. I don't know, I just... I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm a bad driver. That's all. I'm not trying to kill you or anything. Okay, I'm trying to kill you. Hard to bite I like how it doesn't even care. Wait, there's a police car there. Haha, <laughs> jumping in front of cars. Like a crazy person. Right. How should we go about doing this store? Oh no. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing at all. Move! I can't push people in this game. Without grabbing them and causing a riot. Right, maybe that would be a way to start. Strangle this guy. Dino Baldino. Not anymore. There we go. I don't think they should have heard that. I think I'm still good. Yeah. yeah. Alright, here comes. Oh, I need more ammo, that's right. Here goes nothing. Please don't kill me. Pang. Pang. And pang. Triple headshots. Who's next? Can't see. I know there's. Yeah, there's one guy over there. Yeah, I think that was in the head. I think he's dead. Yeah. And there should be one more guy. Ah. Oh. Maybe he left a... Ooh, it's payday! We got a total income of 20,000. Sadly, a lot of our businesses was bombed, so... That's why we didn't get so much... As usual. Alright, what do you have? You have until... Kind of the middle of the R. Yeah, let me make myself clear. Look at this! You don't like being thrown? Ooh, that's a shame. Haja baja! Ah, uh, just a lot of damage, though. Something else we can do. Hoja! I'm gonna kill you. Oh, this is good money. Look at this. Ha <laughs> Oh, yeah. Perfect. 2,000 income. That's pretty good. I gotta take out this thing. Alright, let's go. Ooh, what do you think you're doing? You doing cool? Daniel Brady. What do you think you're doing, mates? Daniel! Be careful! Or Daniel, I don't know why I say Daniel like that. Right. It's in rounds. Bam! Right. What are you doing here, Mr. Cop? Get out of here. Thought I bribed you guys. Ugh. Time to be a real mobster. I hate the Tommy gun. I really do. So freaking inaccurate. Alright, they're fighting outside. I gotta keep my ass open. Oh! There's always one guy in here and one guy around the corner. It's time to die, my friends. Face your destiny. Bang! Hats off for you. And, oh, wait, I'm trying to place dynamite. I think I'm out of dynamite. No. Wow. I need some more supplies. I need to buy some ammo for different weapons. So I'm using a lot more now. This is Kunio territory. Second strongest family. Oh, I <laughs> respect level from killing an enemy. That's rare. Now, the thing is, we can't hit the guy... 
It's a terrible place to stand. Right. I know what we're gonna do. Leo! You're going down. Dang it! Get back up! I'm not finished with you, my execution will be great! Ah! Farewell. And we're gonna buy out. <laughs> Good. That's what I like to hear. We're left to deal with my mustache. Magnum ammo. Alright, good. Our magnum is loaded at least. And we can... Ah, it's so inconvenient hiding the weapon. Right, we have a lot of cops after us. So I'm guessing we should just get back to our house pretty quickly. I need your wheels now. Thank you. Oh, there's a cop right... <gasps> Wait. That cop is bribable. Hey. You can do us a big favor by turning down the heat. Yes. Sure thing. I'll do what I can. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm gonna go nuts on this thingy. This uh van over here. <laughs> it's so fun just watching him wreck everything. Bring it on. Come on. I'm gonna smash. Wait, I think I think they got out of the car. <gasps> yep, they did. You wanna help me out, cop? Now would be a really good time. Dang it. Alright, and it's it's this guy. If we push him far enough, he'll tell us the location of uh, something. I don't really get what it is he tells us actually. Alright. Alright then. Well, it was a good life you had, wasn't it? Bam! Finish it. Alright, you had some money. Ooh, 2,000 cap. I. 2,000 caps? <gasps> Tatalia! What do you think you're doing? Ah, I got you back, Mr. Cop. No problem. I'm always glad to help the law. <laughs> Every single cop! What do you think you're doing? Just because I stole some- I didn't even steal from your family! We're even at the moment. You douche. Stolen money, 2000. We did it. We robbed a truck. Which is pretty epic indeed. Now I guess we should head out again. Why not? Why not safe? All right. Yeah. Now I'm gonna. Oh, maybe talk to this guy. He's over at the barber shop. There we go. That's what I had to do. All right. So after taking that random shop, this is mine now. give me our car. Thank you. Now we just gotta be careful not to drive around any police officers, cause that's gonna push the line. Just gonna drive backwards. I don't know why. Sorry. Excuse me. And perfect. The dawn is dead. Lucas sleeps with the fishes. Tom Hagen, Corleone, Consigli Consigli Consi I can't pronounce that word. Has disappeared. Can anyone stop the Tatalias from destroying the Corleones? It was a Pete Clemenza, Senor. Senior, Senor, Senior Capo Rashime for the Corleones, a real man of the streets, and Sal Tetsio, Corleone Capo, one of the dance trusted old guards. Hey, Mister Monk Malone, you know him? I'm supposed to meet him here. Hey, relax. He went outside for a few. He'll be back. Take a seat. I don't have time, man. Uh oh, trouble. Keep the car running. I don't like this. It's a work day. Keep your mind on the job. Hey, Francis! Marty! Over here! Hey, sis. 
How you doing? How's the old man? Good. Monk's sister. Oh, He's tired. <sighs> the Don himself gonna buy fruit. That is so badass. I want some oranges. Monk. Thank God. Luca's dead. Luca? Thank you very much. You're very kind. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I want some oranges. Oh. Uh. No! Why did the Don walk out in the street? Oh gee. No! Vito! I'm calling you must the stay strong. No! Be all right. Monk. Frankie, my sister, she's out there. I'm sure she's okay. No. Monk. I'll save your sister. And then we're probably gonna have fun. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, so we gotta save Frankie before she dies. Ah, I guess that's reasonable. Ah. Better take out the, the guards. Oh. <clears throat> that was a nice shot. You okay? Do you like my mustache? Yeah, I think so. I've met worse than him. Oh, she likes her mustache. Look, she's almost fainting. Monk sister. Yeah, why? He's been shot. Oh God, what happened? It was a hit. I think the Don is dead. <gasps> no. Hey, you gotta help me get my pup to the hospital. Get in. We'll follow the ambulance. Got it. All right, so we gotta make sure that the Don gets to the hospital safely. This is not good. So early on in the game, the Don is already shot. And this guy's gonna fire from the car. <sighs> this is making me more and more urgy when it comes to playing uh, The Godfather 2. I'm gonna contain myself. I'm gonna finish this game first. I, I am. There there's no cars near the ambulance. I think that hat is kind of too... Whoa! How did I get roadblocks all over the place? Come on, take him out. I don't really know this guy's name. The guy who's shooting. Uh, that's kind of... That's probably very newbie of me. Ugh. There we go. Ugh. No, 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 no! Get out of my way! You stupid car! He just insulted a car's intelligence. And I don't even care. I just drove over it. Tatalia, dude. Let's go, let's go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm sorry! Round the corner. Ah, right, we're catching up. I know, I know. He's bleeding out. We can do this. We can get to the hospital. No Don's gonna... Oh, God. I, I just remembered. We can't destroy our car. Alright, now it's good. We're right behind him. I'm actually gonna pause him if I don't slow down a bit. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Wait. We're going to Brooklyn? Brooklyn it is! I love Brooklyn. Epic slow-mo cutscene. Oh, come on, where did that machine guy guy machine guy guy come from? Oh shit. I'd interrogate the capo to find out who ordered the hits. Alright, you got it. Cecile... Cecile Seco. Oh. I'm gonna push you in the legs, sir. And now... Maybe I should just kill these people first. It's time to die, sir. Bam! Bam! The, the controls are really awkward in this game. That's why I'm spending time doing some stuff. Bam, 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 and one for good measure. What's going on here? Tell, Tell me. me. So Lutz, he's got your consigliere Tom here. They're hiding in an old diner in Brooklyn. 
Alright, all right, now we know that, but we still gotta get to down to the hospital. Dang it, the driver died. <laughs> we're still an outsider and we're driving the Don to the freaking hospital. Drive the ambulance to the hospital. We, we should just give the Don a medicine or something. Come on. Oh yeah, thank you. That's gonna that's gonna help. So I know the location here. Step on it. We gotta find the hospital. I'm going as fast as I can. I did not invent this car. Hong Kong. I am, I am! Uh. Whoa! <laughs> Better not bump anything with the Don in the uh, in the back. I don't think there's much Italias. It's just a matter of time and speed. I always do this. Uh, dang it! I I drove the wrong way. I always pass by the little intersection or whatever. I don't I don't cross this corner in time. Here. Hospital, this way. Oops, sorry, Don. Oh, you always hit the walls. Sorry. And... Done. Oh. We need some help here. Hey, Zani, calm down, man. Uh, let's get some help over here. Hey, Ray. Get some help. What the hell happened? Sonny, Sonny, I... I... Don't. <laughs> Pop. God damn it. What's this guy watching a movie? Get him out of here! <laughs> Actually, I am watching a movie. A cutscene. Freedom. Get your ass over here! I just saved the Godfather, and that's like my thanks. Hey kid, don't mind, Sonny. It's just that seeing his pop like that. So what happened out there? We got trapped on the bridge. Guy that says something about Salazzo and your consigliere. 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 Tom. What else did he say, kid? Don't this call me important. kid. What else? He said they were in an old diner in Brooklyn. Christ. I hope Tom is okay. He's not the fighting type. We'll we need, we need to here, save him. Kid. Come on. Head on over to the compound. Oh. It's time to meet the family, I guess. Well, I should. I've done more here than they have in an entire lifetime, probably. So many shops, save the dawn. No, it's nothing much. That was Clemenza, big fish in the Corleone family. <laughs> Biggest word. Meet him, you better go meet him. All right, you got it. Now they want us to go to the Corleone compound. The Corleone car. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Giorgio Capuzzi? Get out of here. That's how I do it. Strangling is the way to go. How much time do we have left? Uh, we have enough time to go to the compounds. Just gonna go to the compound and just get our promotion. Or actually, it's gonna be like our first promotion, so it's more of like a initiation. Joining the family. Getting a bigger cut. And getting a possibility to. I think you can sleep in the compound and use it as a safe house. I'm not really sure. I don't know about sleeping and saving. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Just wrecking everything. Alright, a truck. Bad. Stupid trucks. Oh, where do you think you're going? Oh, left, right, left, right. What are you gonna do about it? Oh. Yay! I don't even have to use any gas on this. Hey! No, you didn't! Problem is, I can't fire from a car. <sighs> yeah, get out of here. Stupid noobs. Oh, that lady was looking fancy. I wonder where she was going. And here we are. The Corleone compound. It's perfect. I'm gonna miss Luca Brazzi. Yeah. I wanna be just like him. I remember one time he killed one of our own guys just for giving the Corleones a bad name. You're not gonna give the Corleones a bad name, are you? I'm gonna take over the entire un New York, so don't even worry about that. What? What? I wanted I wanted to save Tom. This isn't 
Hey, it's Tom Hagen. Let me speak plainly. The Corleone family has need of men like you. Because as we speak, our enemies encircle us. Exactly. Waiting to prey on any sign of weakness. What can I do for the family? We would like to offer you a role as an unofficial enforcer for the family. See that we maintain control in the streets, help us to regain our true balance. In time, you will become a trusted associate to our family, and then, God willing, you will become one of our made men. Oh yeah, we've been promoted. Respect and money. Becoming an enforcer is only the first rank in the Corleone family. Do, 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 do. As you can see, we now have a lion on the shields. Which is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. And what do we get? Not a new level, apparently. No, that's okay. Aiming precision. Oh, alright. So, that was it. We got promoted, but now I think... Hey, Clemenza's looking for you. Over at the Falconite. Clemenza's looking for you. Over at the Falconite. Oh, hey. How you doing, kid? Got a job for you. You're interested? Yes. Anything for the family. We got a problem with a Tatalia wise guy, Mikey Soleri. Alright, so this is like hit missions. So we get like assassination contracts. And if we do, yeah. When you receive a contract, a hit list will appear in the objectives menu. Your hit list displays your important info about your target. It will remind you any possible bonus conditions. And if we kill the target with a bonus condition, we get more money. And the condition here is to use hand to hand combat. Some of these conditions might be a little difficult. I'm gonna try and do them all. Hey, Sonny, what's up? You know, trucks are a good place to start. I like I trucks. trucks. I remember telling Pop uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. He what? tells me uh, every man has one destiny. What is he talking about? He's talking about olive today, oil. Today, my destiny is all about wanting what the hell's inside of them trucks and what it does for me. You know what I mean? That made no sense, but okay, I'm gonna start robbing trucks. I don't really get what it means when you, like, extort the guy and you get to know, like, the... Oh, there's a racket location here, because we would have found a racket anyways. I don't know. Alright, so now we have a hit list. Or a hit marker on our map, so... We can probably go and take out that guy in the next episode, but for now, we I think we'll be getting close to the end. So I'm just gonna stop by the safe house, and that is where we will have our final moments of the episodes. Now, we have been doing a few missions, so I thought, in the next episode, don't worry, we can go out and explore some more. Go out and take over some more shops. It's a true enforcer of the family. And then, maybe the next episode after that, we're gonna do some missions. We're just gonna try and vary it a bit. And, <laughs> I actually, like, halfway through the storyline, I had taken over every single place in this game. Which is kinda cool, which is kinda cool. Some later missions are really cool though. And there we go. We are safe. Now we can just go in and enjoy our stay. Or we can walk out and be lonely in our room. I think we're gonna go with that option. And bada bing bada boom. It's been quite the eventful episode. We delivered the news that Luca was shot. We found out that the Don was shot. The Don's now in the hospital. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. We're now an enforcer of the family. And in the next episode, we're gonna take over even more places and start doing hit contracts. Which is gonna be pretty rad. So, my name has been Voices from the Dark. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And, oh. There goes the timer. <laughs> that was pretty nicely timed. And I will see you in the next episode. So... Take care, stay awesome, and most importantly, stay true to Jacob's mustache powers.